to address a lot of these things, you know, stretching. Stretching is good, you know. Um, the pendulum swings in fitness. Probably a medicine too, it just swings. Eight years ago, a study comes out that says uh, static stretching decreases power 5%. So all these coaches are on our board. We're never going to static stretch in our lives. And then here we are eight years later, we're kind of back in the middle and saying, okay, is 5% really that big deal when we're talking about staying healthy? No. You know, we're back in the middle now where we say static stretching, yes, it's good. Crazy concept. If you feel tight, stretch. Okay? Generally, people that like to stretch don't need to stretch. We see people that are in yoga classes all day long, they don't need to stretch. They're plenty flexible. And then you see the big weightlifter guys, they hate stretching, so what do they do? Don't stretch. If you feel tight, stretch. Okay? I'm not going to tell you one way is better than the other. If it feels tight, stretch it. It's simple. Okay, we can't just look at the muscles, though. We've got to think about our fascia system as well. Okay, our muscles are generally covered in this fascial system, connects us from head to toe. Okay, if this fascial system isn't what we need it to be, if it's filled with knots and adhesions and things like that, your muscles aren't going to do what they want to do. We can stretch that muscle all day long, but your fascia is going to say no. Now, imagine for a second that this fascia system has a knot in it. So for example, let's say like this is my quad, okay, and now I'm going to stretch my quad. So I'm going to stretch it. All I did was got the knot tighter. Okay, so if we feel tight, there's a variety. We got to look at it a few different ways. It can't just be about muscular length. We got to look at soft tissue quality and density as well. How do we do that? The best way, I'm not gonna lie, massage. Good massage therapy, but I don't think any of us have the time or money to get one twice a day, which that's how often I think you need it. Good news though, there's a lot of tools out there. Okay. A lot of tools. I've seen foam rollers and sticks everywhere from TJ Maxx to Target to Dick's to, to almost everywhere. Okay? There's a foam roller. Okay? This is the one I bought, I don't know, five years ago for 12 bucks. It stays under my bed. It's still in great shape. Okay? So foam rolling is basically the poor man's massage. Okay? We've really got to take that into consideration. This is your preparation before you start going to work out. Okay? You've got to do it.